My psychiatrist is an idiot. Hey what's up you guys, welcome back to my channel, if you're new here, hi, hello I'm Lydia and if you are new here make sure you hit the subscribe button, join the growing family. Today we're discussing my psychiatrist. I did like this psychiatrist until two weeks ago and why is that you may ask? My psychiatrist, this professional, decided to cut my haloperidol dose in half and let me tell you, it has been a living nightmare. I've been visually hallucinating, auditory hallucinating, tactile hallucinating, hearing voices. It's just not been good for me psychiatrically and honestly I don't know what my psychiatrist was thinking. We never discussed reducing my medication even though in the paperwork he noted down that we discussed going on to a lower dose of haloperidol. I would like to know when this discussion took place because I for sure was not there and honestly the way it's affected me it has caused me to lose hours of sleep. Like last night I slept for three hours because I kept getting scared by the shadows moving. Yeah. So why is my psychiatrist an idiot? With haloperidol you, it's when you're reducing a dose you're supposed to do it gradually because it can have pretty severe side effects. Why is done is not only dangerous it's born like mad and I honestly can't think of a way of explaining it other than it's insane. What psychiatrist thinks, oh yeah I know what I'll do, I'll half someone's haloperidol dose, not tell them about it, let them have a surprise on the Sunday when there's a bank holiday the next day and when they request to go back up on their higher dose I'm gonna say no. I spoke to my GP last week and he said that if it gets worse I should go to A&E. The thing is, if I go to A&E, I know that I'm getting sectioned. I'm not going to go to A&E. <laughs> and I did actually like the psychiatrist because he was okay with me taking the medication I was on. Apparently that's gone out the window and he's decided, oh yeah, time to decrease. I very much so look forward to my next appointment with the psychiatrist because I'm going to ask, what the fuck are you thinking? My exact words will be, sir, what the fucking god? was you thinking now people might think i'm being harsh and overreacting but i've been on haloperidol now for four years i want to say i've been on it for quite a while i started it in 2020 and won 2024 so four years ish and the only reason i was on such a high dose is because that's what it took to for it to help me so what are my options my options really now are ask to change antipsychotic, try and go back up on my haloperidol dose, that's it really. I don't really want to be trying new medications but that might be my only option. I hope it's not because I really don't want to do that. The last few weeks have not been fun. So my dose used to be split up, so I had five milligrams in the morning which I still take and I had five milligrams in the evening, which I don't take anymore. So I've gone from 10 milligrams of haloperidol to five, which is an insane decrease. I just seriously don't know what my psychiatrist was thinking. He's supposed to be an expert or professional. Why wasn't I consulted about lowering the haloperidol dose? Because then I could have explained my reason for not wanting that. See, the thing is I thought medication was supposed to be a joint decision, a decision that we made together to avoid situations like this. But no. Anyway, thank you for listening to me rant, thank you for watching and I will see you on my next video. Don't forget to subscribe if you're new. Peace.